Hey there, this is Chris and I do layman tech reviews on gadgets, especially cameras and its accessories or anything that makes my life easier as a parent of three young kids. Now these days I got myself into another gas issue, gear acquiring syndrome. I've gotten myself into retro or rather classic type cameras. And this time it is into DSLRs. This is Canon SL1, or this SL1 is the model known in America. This is also called the Canon 100D in Asia. I got this camera because primarily it is a DSLR and I wanted to have the OVF viewing and shooting experience. Uh, it is also Canon's lightest and smallest DSLR. So I come from the mirrorless world, the mirrorless cameras are pretty small, the Micro Four Thirds and the APS-C type cameras. And this fits my hand pretty nicely, snugly. And I love the EFS 24mm on it. This itself, this entire package, is actually quite light. In fact, I would say that it is lighter than my Fujifilm X100V. So this is, makes it a joy to hold and to shoot. Right. This is by far not the most modern, fanciest, fastest camera you can get. And I got it pretty cheap at about 200 so that's a good steal. Um, but that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about, uh, about photography and how camera companies should do more to get people interested in picking up a camera and start taking pictures or I would like to call create memories. This is what Canon used to do and I think that all, maybe other camera manufacturers also do this. Um, but because I got this and it came in a box and it came with a lot of stuff in it, I just wanted to show, with you, show, show to you and share with you what I think uh, camera manufacturers should continue to do. All right, and that is to create literature inside inside the packaging. I know there's a lot to print, you create wastage and whatnot. You can create PDFs, you can create online materials, you can create YouTube videos, you can create really nice guides or even an app. Maybe create a guide inside your camera app to really tell and to really teach people how to create memories. This came with a low-end budget DSLR packaging and I, I gave it a read this morning and I thought well oh, there's a lot of good nuggets of information here. So the first book talks about macro photography, one of my favorite topics or one of my favorite photography genres, genres and uh, talks about the methods, the lens, how um, and how do you do macro photography? Pretty cool. And then this one talks about zoom lenses. Um, how you should use image stabilizers within the lens to create um, stabilized, um, sharp, clear images. How you should use uh, proper shutter, proper aperture, proper lighting, uh, how to create pictures of running case and all that. So I think this is really, really good literature and something that I know that you can find a lot in YouTube, but you have to go and research. If you just, if you just bought a camera and, and if these materials came inside that camera, I think you learn much faster. This one is, I think this is good. Flash photography, how, how to use flash to create great photography, great pictures of food, of, of, of product photography, of uh, children, especially for indoor. So this, this is really good. So the three, three books that came with the Canon S, Canon one, 100D, macro photography, uh, zoom photography, and flash photography. Really, really good. And I'm gonna keep this and let my children uh, read it because I think this, this, this type of information is really good to build the fundamentals enhance your uh, knowledge of the 
photography fundamentals. All right, I'm going to take more pictures of the Canon uh, 100D and I'm going to share it in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless.